गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कंसेप्ट ऑफ जियोलॉजी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज द ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म वेर वी विल डिस्कस सेवरल टॉपिक्स ऑफ जियोलॉजी इन अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सिक्वेंस जियोलॉजी इज द सब्जेक्ट वेर वी स्टडी और एक्सप्लोर द आर्थ फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट टूडे ऑन द वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास आई विल नॉट एंटर इन द सब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली रैदर I will try to provide a view of it and to do that I need not to break my head I am lucky because the purpose will be solved if I share the experience of the first day of geology in my college the class was of sedimentology we were all new to the subject you may not believe I had never heard the name of geology uh, before I took admission I tried for chemistry but eventually got admission to geology. Okay fine. Teacher entered to the class a little interaction happened and then he asked suppose you have entered to a room which is completely empty except only a light bulb is hanging from the ceiling and eventually when you standing below the bulb you discovered that the bulb is just touching your head now that much of information you have and you have to say what is the height of the room let me pictureize the question uh, suppose we have entered to a empty room we have entered to an empty room where nothing is there only a light bulb is hanging from the ceiling this is glowing okay and when i am standing beneath the bulb eventually i am getting that the bulb is just touching my head okay this is the situation from that much of information we have to say what is the height of the room this was the question so sitting on the second bench i thought perhaps this kind of problems come under uh, sedimentology and immediately i got a mind blowing solve i told very smartly uh, sir uh, we can measure the height of the room by a measuring tape but unfortunately the teacher disappointed and said no tape or scale is there and you will never be able to calculate the height think uh, he told to me particularly that i will never be able to calculate the height i would become demoralized if he did not pick up some more boys who were like me anyway no one could give the answer and then teacher said you all know the theory of pendulum the time period of an, of a pendulum that is the capital t is equal to 2 pi root over l by g where l is the length of the pendulum and g is the acceleration due to gravitation okay now if you can use this light bulb like a pendulum and you can measure the time taken for a complete oscillation that is the time period of the pendulum then you can easily calculate the length of the pendulum by this formula okay after that when you will have the length of the pendulum from this formula then you can see the height of the room by adding your own height with this capital l this was the solve i got stunned because this was so correct and all the theories were well known to us after that he cleared why he told me that i could not answer because i did not have a watch in my wrist this is how i started geology in that class teacher told in all over geology you will not found much more new things rather what you have read up to higher secondary you will apply those principles to explore the earth that is why geology is not taught 
in school level as a mainstream because this is an applied science. So I have already mentioned that geology is the subject where we study or explore the earth from different different aspects. So depending on those we have suppose 13 to 14 branches of the subject. I am talking about only the main branches there are a lot of sub branches I am not going into them. First branch of the uh, of our subject the geology is petrology. Petrology means the study of rocks. So firstly we have number one igneous petrology. Igneous petrology. This is the study of igneous rock which is the parent of all rocks found in the earth. They are the first to form when the earth began to solidify from a molten state before 4.6 billion years. The second branch is sedimentology. Sedimentology. This is the study of sedimentary rocks. Those are the product of denudation and deposition of sediments derived from existing rock in the earth's surface. Okay. The next branch will be metamorphic petrology metamorphic petrology metamorphic rocks are formed by metamorphism of an existing rock which was living in an unstable thermodynamic condition the existing rock may be a sedimentary may be an igneous or even maybe a older metamorphic rock which was living in um, thermodynamically unstable condition. That is the force of metamorphism. Okay. Number four is mineralogy. Mineralogy. This is what? This is the study of minerals. Uh, each and every rocks are constituted by some minerals and mineralogy is the study of those minerals. Number five branches structural geology. Structural geology. Okay. This is the study of disturbances suffered by a rock due to application of some natural forces on it. Okay, mind it. The forces are I am talking about natural forces like plate tectonics movements uh, that kind of forces. Next one is Geodynamics. Geodynamics. This is a quest how the earth has obtained the present structure of its suppose land and water masses. Fine. Next one, number seven branch is geomorphology. Geomorphology. This is the study of lay of land. Where is mountain, where is river valley, this type of lay of land is studied under geomorphology. Next one is number 8 is static graphy. Static graphy. Static graphy is often called historical geology because it deals with reconstruction of the uh, history of the earth or an area by application of uh, integrated knowledge of geology. Number nine is economic geology. Economic geology. This is the study of rocks and minerals those have some economic interest. Number ten is exploration. Exploration geology. This is what this is the exploration that means the search of new rocks and minerals of of course some economic interest. We have number 11 hydrogeology.
here we can have some hints hydro means the water so this is the study of water but in hydrogeology we will concentrate and the water in the water which is uh, beneath the surface that is the ground water okay fine next one is number 12 is paleontology paleontology this is the study of ancient life in the earth we normally study about uh, fossils in this branch number 13 is fuel geology fuel geology okay as the name is suggesting fuel geology means the study of fossil fuels coal petroleum this type of fuels so these were some main branches there are i have told there are a lot of sub branches which i am not mentioning more suppose uh, we have geochemistry geophysics or suppose rock mechanics etc etc in the next video we will start the first class of geology please be with me interact with me if you have any suggestions or advice whatever you may write on the comment box or through the email id which is registered with the channel the id is mentioned on the description and uh, you can uh, see it from here also this is geo concept online at the rate gmail dot com please feel free to write here uh, you may mention if you need uh, some pdf notes or whatever lecture notes uh, i will provide that also please subscribe and share the channel to make me happy of course and prevent me from being lethargic thank you for watching